Good morning, San Francisco, and welcome on the final day of the virtual trade mission on Smart and E Mobility. It's 7.15 in the morning here in San Francisco, and I'm happy to see you here again. If you have any questions, please leave them in the chat below, below your viewer. And if you want to post about this on social media, please do use the hashtag NLUSA, hashtag Digitale Missie, or uh, tag us at NL in SF. Gerbert, this is our final day. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel tired, but I'm also very pleased because it was a very inspiring week. I'm inspired because I've seen and I've learned so much about the latest developments of uh, smart and e-mobility and about the way we cooperate and work together with uh, the Netherlands and California. And besides that, I mean, I was impressed that like even online, you can have real connections. You can sort of come to next steps. And um, the matchmaking session, for example, we had over 40 sort of one-on-ones. And I think uh, for us as a consultant, it's very important to, uh, to help uh, business uh, a step further. So I think that was good. And apart that, I, I felt like it was almost a normal trade mission because we sort of uh, we ran from one session to the other. And uh, we had the whole team behind the scenes because uh, well, we had prepared this whole session, of course. The, the Netherlands Enterprise Agency was there for us. The embassy was there for us the ministries in The Hague. So it felt like there was a whole crowd working behind the scenes, which was the usual sort of tension in the air, uh, but then just different. Well, one of the things that I heard from some of the participants is that they uh, didn't get a good look of that uh, view behind you. So, uh, and of course, that's a beautiful part of being uh, at the consulate in San Francisco, the view uh, of the skyline of San Francisco. So maybe we can take a look at that. Yeah, here we go. This is uh, uh, Kearney Street. Uh, that's where the consulate is located. And then all the way in the back, that's the Transamerica Pyramid. Uh, this is a beautiful day. Today it's a bit foggy, uh, but this was recorded yesterday when it was a beautiful day. You see the bay over there with Alcatraz. And if you zoom in, which you won't, um, you could see the Golden Gate Bridge uh, as well. So um, on a serious note, Herbert, uh, of course, the view is an important part of uh, the, the of trade course. mission. But um, what makes a virtual trade mission a success? Yeah, yeah, great question. I would say... Uh, let's use the same set of criteria we use for normal trade missions. And of course, the main thing is, did the participants really get a better insight in the laser development, in this case, in the development uh, in the smart mobility field? Uh, well, as far as I got the feedback right now, I think we made some uh, good uh, uh, part of the program with the webinars, the combination with fourth, I think was a good thing. Um, and a part of that, I just mentioned the matchmaking, for example. I think it's always important to get the right connections. Uh, and of course, you prefer to do that yourself, like with a real cup of coffee and look someone in the eye. But I feel like we have this nice interactive platform, uh, which is very helpful. It will stay online until the end of the year. So it will keep up, uh, it will be there for the longer run to continue your networking, uh, uh, to su support your networking efforts. Um, and I think we just have to see, well, of course, we have to wait for the feedback of the participants to see whether we were really successful, because this is all meant as a sort of tool in the toolbox of the Netherlands uh, Foreign Affairs Ministry and uh, RVO. And I mean, as far as I can say, I would really sort of uh, say this is maybe a good thing to keep in the toolbox, a part of the real life trade missions. I mean, no doubt about it, they will be needed in the future whenever it's to, uh, well, it will be possible to travel again, of course, because real connections Real handshakes are the best thing, but a part of that, I think we offered something extra and hopefully with the help of the Nelson Enterprise Agency and the Ministry, we can continue to deliver these kind of tools to, pre for, I think, prepare your uh, normal trade mission or to use the online content to be better, better prepared for your uh, digital connections. So that would be my take. Thank you, uh, Gerbert. So we had 70 Dutch companies, 40 American companies, and more than 150 participants. It was the first time the Netherlands set up a virtual trade mission. Let's take a look at the previous days. This first virtual mission on smart and e-mobility. The last uh, three months changed a bit the consulate into an e consulate. To further grow the e mobility market. Dutch and American companies will connect and build a new and stronger network, share expertise, and all online from the comfort of their own home. So I hope that through this digital trade mission, you will reinforce existing ties. I hope you will find many new partners. And now I would like to welcome our guest here in the studio, Gigi Wang. With COVID, 
all the travel, of course, is completely shut down. First ever digital trade mission. To tackle these difficult uh, e-mobility problems together. I know we can do it. You know we can do it. And that is a very big part of why we are here today. Follow up, we are uh, uh, organizing a Dutch Mobility Week. I will now uh, quickly dive in together with you into uh, the platform. It is that we need international cooperation. If we want to achieve the goals of the Paris Agreement, if we want to achieve our sustainable development goals, we are going to need to clean up transport, and we can only do that through international cooperation a new type of mission in this very challenging environment. Well, one of the participants in this mission is Johan uh, Belen, and he's of Brainport. Um, Johan, how did you experience this first virtual mission? Uh, good morning, Gerbert. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you a lot for organizing the mission. and. Congratulate you on the first successful online mission. Of course, it's uh, second best on some uh, some points, but uh, I was really enjoyed by uh, being part of several webinars and the opening of Minister Kaag. Uh, was impressed by some presentations and, of course, also our own uh, webinar on heavy duty developments. Uh, heavy, du heavy duty battery developments was successful and leads to next steps with uh, companies and the government. I like the matchmaking a lot, which I was, uh, was in the same room with uh, the governor's office talking about uh, the challenges we all have and uh, also think that will lead to the next steps. So thank you a lot and for the first uh, uh, online mission of the Netherlands, I think a big compliment to you. Well, thank you, Johan. I'm glad you appreciate it and uh, it was for you a, a fruitful mission. I was just wondering, how has COVID-19 impact your sort of way you present Brainport to, for example, California? I mean, have things changed for you? Yeah, it changed not only our, our, uh, our branding and position in, uh, to, to California, but to all the rest of the world too. Um, uh, it, it suits a little bit our new strategy because we're looking much more into innovation and R&D collaboration projects, which you uh, explore first of all online by changing knowledge and having talks one-on-one. -on -one. And in the end, of course, you want to meet people. And if you want to make a deal or decide on a real project, it's uh, uh, better to meet in real life. But for now, I think it's uh, like a second best good way to help us out and uh, all these projects that uh, we leave from this mission uh, will help us uh, for getting next step done. Well, thank you so much. I hope the last day will also offer you some new insights. And of course, we have the closing session to really get the best feedback of the participants. Thank you, Johan. So now I turn thank to uh, Fenna Blau, my colleague here of the Netherlands Foreign Investment Agency. Good morning, Fenna. So what do you do here in San Francisco? Thank you. So um, I work for the Netherlands Foreign Investment Agency. I'm an assistant director there. Um, and the Netherlands Foreign Investment Agency's main task is to help American companies set up an office in the Netherlands or expand operations. We kind of act as a, a liaison between the public and the private sector. And um, we help companies with their questions on visa, HR, tax. We also have data on more of the, the soft factors of why you would want to invest in the Netherlands. Um, and finally, we can help set up a um, tailor-made, custom-made um, fact-finding trip to let companies see what the Netherlands is all about. Well, that's great. It's an orange carpet for uh, American companies in a way. And how do you promote our country uh, to the United States, to the American companies in the field of smart and e-mobility? Well, Herbert, as you know, the Netherlands has 23 million bikes, more bikes than people. I know. So you could say that mobility is in our genes. Um, then most companies see the Netherlands as their gateway to Europe. Um, we have a highly educated workforce, a very stable investment climate, and it's just a place that people want to live. Um, just ask 
you know, companies like Bird, Lime, uh, Uber has a European headquarters in the Netherlands. Tesla has been in the um, in the Brabant area, the, the area that uh, Johan represents for years now. Um, it's the Dutch are um, always looking for a smarter and more sustainable way to to get around, and uh, that's what makes Netherlands such a great test bed for companies. Um, from California, from the West Coast, from the United States, to set up in the Netherlands. Well, thank you. And I think it's uh, very good that you're here to share your story, Fena, because it's an important part, of course, for us, for all of us, to also work on relocating American companies to the Netherlands, a part, of course, giving a soft landing to Netherlands companies here in California. So thank you very much. And um, Sietse, back to you. You got to do the big switch here. Let me clean my microphone for one second. We still have our health uh, regulations. All right, yeah. So um, let's go over the program of today for the last day of the virtual trade mission. Um, of course, we started with uh, Good Morning San Francisco. That's what you're looking at right now. And then uh, on this live stream, we'll continue with a webinar, Charging Infrastructure Challenges in California. Um, at the same time, parallel to that, that webinar, there's another webinar uh, through Zoom uh, called Zero Emission Vehicle Alliance Publici uh, Policy Lab. Um, you can find the link to that Zoom meeting uh, in the platform, in the agenda of the platform. Um, and at 9 a.m. San Francisco time, there's another fourth webinar followed by the closing session that's also through Zoom. And in the closing session, all the particip uh, participants can give their, uh, their feedback on how this virtual trade mission was organized. And that's valuable information for us, how we can do better in the future. Um, please, uh, let's see what else is there. Um, oh, yeah. We will keep you updated in the future of uh, follow-up events. And also the platform will be open for the participants for the remaining of the year. Uh, this way you can continue to connect to your fellow participants and the American uh, companies that you connected to in the past few days. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, Gerbert. Well, thank you, Sietse. Um, I would really like to thank all the partners and colleagues that helped us to make this uh, adventure hopefully a success for the entrepreneurs. I would like to thank the Netherlands Enterprise Agency, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of Infrastructure and Water, all our external partners. And I would like to thank, of course, the colleagues at the Embassy and my team here in San Francisco. Because this team, the connection between the Netherlands and the United States, this worked. And I think we all worked around the clock to make this virtual mission for you a big success. And then you might ask yourself, I mean, I'd like to see some faces. Well, Sietse, do you have some faces for us? I do hope that we get some faces. Uh, there they are. Oh, they were wow. waiting for all of you. They worked around the clock so for all of you behind the scenes. They will wave and say bye, but um, it wasn't easy. You know, we all worked from home and we were setting up a trade mission in a new adventure during a pandemic. It was an adventure with a very strong learning curve for ourselves. And I do hope that you've seen how Silicon Valley works. We work for you. I hope we can contribute to your success. Please come back to us. Maybe in real life, but if not, let's digitally connect. Thank you all. It was a great adventure, and I hope you really liked it. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you all for joining. Uh, stay tuned for the next webinar and the closing session after that. Um, have a great last day of uh, the virtual trade mission, and we hope to see you next time uh, virtually or in the real world. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>